All right, so if you guys have been watching my videos for any length of time, you know that every time we do a video outside, most of the time, the grass needs cut because I hate cutting grass. But I think that I have fa finally found a solution. Ugh. This is the Luba. This is a completely uh, robotic lawnmower that just mows the grass by itself. You don't have to control it. You don't have to do anything. It, it's completely uh, wire free. It runs off of GPS, so you don't have to bury a perimeter wire. None of that stuff. And I think this just might be my solution to keeping my grass cut so that I don't have to do anything. So before we go outside and uh, test this thing out, let me tell you some specs. It's uh, This one is the Luba 5000. It can cut up to 1.25 acres, so a lot of grass. It's four wheel drive and it has nice like little paddle tires on the back and then it has these like omni wheel type of wheels on the front so it, it can go forwards and back but it can also like turn to and it doesn't tear up the grass because it just rolls. Radar on the front so it can see something in front of it but it also has, oh I guess that made it mad. It has like a the bumper, it has bumpers on the sides so that whenever it hits something it can just go around it. All, all of your you know typical robotic lawnmower safety stuff. But something that makes it different, uh, besides it being four wheel drive, is that most of uh, most robotic lawnmowers only have like one blade, but this one, it's also heavy. Oh, this one, you can see, it has two different uh, blades. It's a little bit dirty because I did a, a slight little test mode just to make sure everything worked. It had, you had, it's dual blade, I think, the maximum cutting width is like 11 inches or something. So for something robotic, it's pretty good. And it has your typical uh, like razor blade style blades that all uh, autonomous lawnmowers use. All right. Ugh. Now let's uh, let's take this thing outside and let's uh, let's test it on some some grass and see how it does. So the initial setup process is very simple. You just have a basic charging station that. Let me move this out of the way. It comes with these like little screws that you just screw it down into the ground. And then you put the Luba into the charging station. She gets very mad whenever you move it around. So you just put that there. And then you have to have this in the open sky because the Luba itself connects to uh, the satellites. And then there's also an RTK reference station that also connects to the satellites. And then the two connect to each other, and then that's how it finds its position. Now, normally the RTK reference station would be mounted right here, and it would be on a pole, but I was having some trouble getting it connected, so I'll show you what I had to do. So for me, you can see it usually connects, the RTK station usually connects right there, and I tried to put it, this is the pole, and I tried to put it on this pole, but I still couldn't get a connection, so I had to put it all the way up there on my own little makeshift pole <laughs> and then now it works and it gets a good connection okay so to do the mapping all you need to do is use you, you use your uh, phone like a remote control and you just drive the luba all around the perimeter of everywhere that you want to cut so that is very easy especially if you've ever had like rc cars or something growing up so obviously i want to go along this fence so i'm just gonna drive this thing okay <laughs> so then i'm just going to continue around all around the whole perimeter and then we'll come back okay so now i've drove it all the way around the perimeter and i have the whole perimeter of what i want mowed mapped out so now what we need to do is we need to make a, a no-go zone so obviously i have my fire pit here i don't want this thing slammed into my fire pit all the time so you can tell it to do a no-go zone and then all you do is just Drive it around. And then now we've mapped a little circle around the fire pit, and now it knows that this is a no-go zone and not to uh, run into this thing. So now I wanted to show you what the app looks like. So you can see that I have mapped the backyard. I have two no-go zones, the, the fire pit, and then I have a tree in the backyard, so I've mapped around that. And then all of this is the area that it's going to mow. So, but for right now, I will tell it to go back home and then it is now automatically going to go back to its home. All right, come on. 
Come back to your home. It has an infrared sensor inside the charging station and on the Luba so it can line itself up and then it can back up and into the charging station. And there we go. So before we start mowing, there's two things in particular I wanna see. So the, most of the yard is not tall, but you know, it, it needs cut. So I have this little section right here that has just been growing up. It's probably, I don't know, a little bit more than ankle high in some spots. So I'm curious to see how it handles this really tall grass. But also what I'm more curious about is I have this spot right here in the yard that's like the ankle snapper 5000. And it's like a, just a, like a weird like sinkhole that you can really <laughs> almost break your ankle into. And I'm curious whenever it hits this, how it's going to like navigate its way around this or if it's gonna since it's four-wheel drive is it gonna be able to like pull itself out and figure it out by itself or just you know what's gonna happen okay so now before we set it to mow i don't know why i didn't think to screen record before we have a couple options here we can go to we can we can pick our uh route spacing so like how big our stripes are going to be that's another thing, this, this mower will mow, since it uses GPS, it will mow in, stri in stripes and not just like all haphazard like most uh, mowers will. So we can go from 9.8 all the way up to 13, down to 7.9. I think 9.8 is what's just set on normally, so I just leave it at that. You can pick the speed from 0.7 feet per second all the way up to two feet per second. I just leave it on one. You can pick your obstacle detection mode. So like how sensitive you want it to be with obstacles. Level one is just default, so I leave it on that. Cutting route is, I have it set for a single grid, but you can do, um, you can do double grid. So you can have it mow like uh, north and south and then east and west in the same day. So it gets like a, like a cross hatch pattern and really it's like a, a really fine cut. You can pick how many, you can pick which, if you want it to do the border of the zone first, or if you want it to do the stripes first, we'll have it, we'll let it do the border first. I have it set at a 90 degree angle, so that way it'll cut uh, this way instead of long ways. And then you can see all the little lines that shows its cutting path. And it says it's gonna cut 1,647 square feet and it's gonna take uh, 57 minutes. So. We'll just go ahead and we'll push start. The first thing that it should cut should be, should be this, this grass right here, which is significantly taller than some of this other grass. So I'm curious how good of a job it'll do on that. This thing is quiet. Where are you going? Not at all going where I thought it was gonna be. but it is cutting that grass really good. All right, so this thing has a mind of its own, but it should, it's right here. Now it should be going through this tall grass, hopefully. We'll see, we'll see what it does. It seems to be, it's not doing too bad. Now, obviously, this grass is way, way, way taller than what it's rated to cut. But that's not that bad, honestly. I mean, you could tell it like, you know, missed some little pieces here and there, but for mowing grass, that's probably four or five times taller than what it's supposed to be mowing. That's not bad at all. All right, here we go. I think it's gonna finally hit this tall patch of grass. What are you doing? Oh, that's not bad. A couple stragglers. That's not horrible. Not at all. All right, it's about to happen. The moment we've been waiting for. 
this next strip that it does, it should be going inside of the sinkhole. And we'll see if it uses its uh, four wheel drive to just drive on out or if it gets stuck or see what happens. Oh, I think, I think one tire, I think one side of the tires are gonna end up in the hole. Oh, okay. Just go over it like nothing. All right, now it should be going, when it comes back, it should be going dead center of the hole. Yep, here we go. Oh, let's see. Oh, okay, just like it's nothing. Well, that's not quite what I expected. Let's see. Wonder if he'll do it again. Oh, it hit the bumper. Let's see what it does. Okay, so it's just gonna go around it. So far, I'm very impressed. All right, so, so far, I'm uh, really impressed. It got through the hole, it mowed the tall grass. Well, a piece of the uh, tall grass over here, it was too thick and it hit the uh, and it hit the front sensor so it didn't mow it. But the parts that it went through, it did pretty good for, you know, not being, not supposed, it's not made to mow grass that tall, but it did a good job for what it did. Um, the next thing I want to test is it has a rain sensor up on top. So that way if it's mowing the grass and it starts raining, you can have it set to where it will, if it'll detect the rain and then just go home, wait till the rain stops, and then it'll go back out and continue mowing the grass. So let's get, make, get some artificial rain and see if, uh, see if those work. All right, we're mowing. It's a bad thunderstorm. I think it's already going home. Is that where you're going? Are you going home? I think it's going straight home already. Okay, well, that works really good. All right, one last thing I'd like to show you is uh, you can get, to kind of complete this package, you can get a nice little roof for your charging station. There we go. Even though the, the Luba is uh, completely waterproof, but this way it has a little roof and it doesn't have to sit out in the, the sun and the rain. Overall, I'm very impressed with this thing. And uh, I think this is my solution to not having to mow the grass anymore because it, you know, it cuts the grass just fine. It never got stuck. I can put it on a schedule so I don't even have to think about it. And uh, I like the whole thing a lot. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.